Hello, everyone. I'm meteorologist Chris Martin, and good Saturday evening to you. Of course, we start out with some tropical rain this morning. The circulation from the leftovers of Sergio have moved on towards eastern Oklahoma and eastern Texas. And for the Texas Panhandle, the sky has cleared out considerably. Now, for this evening time, we'll see the moisture supply increase ahead of that much colder air which moves in during the day tomorrow. We'll wake up on Sunday morning to some patchy fog out there. Temperatures in the upper 40s and low 50s, uh, close to saturation, 100% humidity with that fog, so watch out for that. And then as the day progresses, those temperatures will be bottoming out. We're going to get to 44 degrees at noon, much colder at 5 p.m., close to the freezing mark, a little bit of light rain out ahead of that frontal boundary as it moves in with some strong north winds at 20 to 30 miles per hour, gusting over 40 at times. Not a fun day to be out and about for sure. And then here in the city of Amarillo, we'll see a switch over to a freezing drizzle or freezing light rain for the evening hours, say from 4 to 5 p.m. on into the evening for your Sunday which, of course, will create some slick roadways out there. Let's take it over to the Future Sky forecast. And again, that frontal boundary approaches our northern counties by tomorrow morning. Again, temperatures getting down to the 40s and 50s out ahead of it. We'll start to see the little uh, remnants of rain starting to pop up at that point. Again, ahead of the front, we're talking rain. Behind it, a switch over to a freezing mixture of freezing drizzle and freezing rain, and eventually snow across our northern counties as the colder temperatures continue to push on in. For tomorrow afternoon, daytime temperatures won't even say diet daytime highs because the highs will be in the morning. We'll get to 40 degrees in Childress, 33 in Canadian, 31 for your Sunday afternoon in Borger, 29 degrees in Guymon, about the same in Dalhart, Clayton up towards Boise City, closer to 27, 26 degrees the afternoon temperature over towards Elkhart as we see that snow starting to mix in across mainly our northwestern counties. And in those areas we're expecting from tomorrow night into Monday morning, the possibility of anywhere from a half an inch up to over two and a half inches of snow, say from north of Dalhart, over into the western Oklahoma Panhandle, southwestern Kansas, and Clayton and most of Union County as well. Generally south of that snow line will stay above that uh, mark and look for the possibility instead of that uh, freezing rain, maybe a little bit of uh, light rain mixed for the southern parts of the Panhandle by Sunday afternoon. Here's a look at our seven-day forecast as we wake up on Monday. Most of the precipitation will be pushing south of the Texas Panhandle. That's good news. The bad news is we're dropping down to a hard freeze of 25 here in town. Teens Across the Oklahoma Panhandle, and of course, wind chills down to the teens and single digits. Very cold morning to be out and about, and what little uh, rain and then eventually freezing rain we get will accumulate on the roadways. So, of course, especially bridges and overpasses, you'll need to take extra caution driving over those. Basically, you need to slow down on a Monday morning as you head out and about and give yourself plenty of time to get to where you're going because we will have slick roadways again, especially across the northern half of the Texas Panhandle, but Amarillo will be included in that and Canyon as well. On Monday afternoon, Afternoon, we'll see the clouds continuing on. The winds start to die down. Temperatures actually warm back up above the freezing mark. We'll hit 42 degrees on Monday afternoon here in Amarillo, 30s for our northern counties, but generally we'll all stay above the freezing mark. Then as we get into Tuesday morning, we fall back down below freezing. 26 degrees will be our morning low. Tuesday afternoon, we're back to cloudy skies and a high of 56, but we'll see warmer conditions still throughout most of this next week. Wednesday, up to 60 degrees. We get a disturbance moving right over the panhandles by Thursday, bringing liquid precipitation. A few scattered showers on the way for Thursday in the morning into the afternoon. A few of those actually continue on into early Friday morning, but by Friday afternoon, well, the sun breaks out. We'll heat back up to the 60s and low 70s, and we'll have a weak dry frontal boundary, which arrives for next Saturday as we top out at 63 degrees. So a mixed bag of weather for sure. Please take extra caution Sunday night and into Monday morning as you're hitting the roadways, and take more time to get to where you're going, and of course, slow down. Thanks for clicking on myplanes.com.